What if people with disabilities are designing their own technological future? What would that future look like? How does that technology enable the strengths of the person? We had a child who was born blind and we were looking at the technological environment as technology designers and creators that our child would partake in as, as he got older. We took on this challenge of saying, how could young, blind and low vision children learn to code? And that started us on this journey to build this technology. CodeJumper is a physical programming language for teaching basic coding skills and computational thinking to children ages 7 to 11, regardless of their level of vision. I think what excites me about working at Microsoft is that we have a, a vision which is valued throughout the company, that we're there to empower every person on the planet. It's really this notion of inclusion and inclusive design. We've found a partner, American Printing House for the Blind, who are really experts in taking technology to blind and low vision children. And now we need to set the actual sound. Very early on, we involved four blind and low vision children to be part of our design team really with a view that they are experts in the tactile world. Code is made up of lines of commands, or a series of commands that make your computer do what you want it to do. One, two, three. In CodeJumper, you have a physical pod that's one line of code or one command. So children connect these physical pods to create a series of commands that create a program that might make poetry, play music, tell a story. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. If you're thinking about creating something and you want to create a story, you can then program the story to have different endings. For me, what's really exciting about CodeJumper is that by engaging with blind children and their tactile experience of the world, we're able to come up with a very different design than we would have otherwise potentially imagined just on our own. People might use it at home, but the idea is that the blind and low vision child will have something they can use alongside their peers in those classes. As a parent of a blind child, I don't want to have to be thinking about like, oh, is there a way to make this accessible to Ronan? I, he should be able to use a piece of technology. Inclusion means that I have one thing that we're all using together, and I can work alongside them without having to think about, am I different here? What's always amazed me about when I start to delve into accessibility in Microsoft products is how much there is for different children and how it can be used. It's so easy to adapt it to whatever you need, and I think that level of ease of adaption is, is just so new, and it's there because accessibility is built in from the start. They're in Windows, and that makes a huge difference to the breadth of the way these tools can be used. With Code Jumper. Experts look to jumpstart computer science interest for kids who are blind. Microsoft has taken on the responsibility to say that we're going to make inclusive technologies and inclusive design from things like immersive reader and OneNote. And what they've done in the case of Word documents or PowerPoints is to make sure that, for example, if there's an image in your PowerPoint, that image is, is automatically provided an alternative text label that someone with a screen reader can access. That's an amazingly powerful way of, of taking the responsibility off the disabled person and putting it onto the technologies that we create. And for me, that's such a fundamental change in the way we think about technology, and that's what's going to really push that forward, the accessibility of the world we live in.